Did you know that in coffee roasting there is one factor that makes up to 80% of the flavor differences in your roasted coffee? And this factor is the development of your bean or also the color of your roasted coffee. The better you can manage the color of your roasted coffee, the better you will achieve the results that you want. And this is particularly important if you are a commercial roaster and if you have customers, because they have an expectation of a particular flavor profile from your coffee and you need to match that. Therefore, you need to be able to manage the color of your roasted coffee. What's in addition is that if the color isn't perfect, then also the grinding will be a bit different and then you will customers have either an under-extracted or over-extracted the coffee, which will minimize their experience with your coffee. Therefore, most of the roasteries are working with color meters in order to improve the quality of the roast. And in this video, I will show you one of the most popular devices for color metering. I'm Ingo from Roast Rebels, and now let's go. What you can see here in front of me is the CM100 Plus from Lighthills. You might have seen it before because it's just one of the most popular devices for color metering in coffee roasting. It's very quick, it works with infrared, it's very reliable, it's light, you can take it anywhere, and it's measuring the color of your coffee in Actron in the SA Gourmet scale. This is the most popular scale for coffee roasting, so you can easily then talk uh, about the color of your coffee with other coffee professionals. The Lytels color meter can do two things. It can measure the color of your ground coffee and it can measure the color of your whole beans. Like that you see the differences, the delta between the grounds, like the inside and the outside of your bean, and you can see how evenly through the coffee has been roasted. That's actually all the machine can do. It can save up to 200 um, meterings in the machine. In addition to that, you have a software where you can also then directly export that to an Excel file so that you don't need to write down everything. You have it directly in an Excel file. What is said to this software, it's only available for Windows PC. It's not available for Mac or Linux. Um, but if you have a Windows PC, then this is a nice help for you because you don't have to type all the values into your own Excel. It's Super simple to use, and I'm going to show it to you in a second how it's going to work. But before that, I'm going to show you how the device is being delivered and what is coming with the device. So, all the Lightels devices, they are coming in those shockproof, high quality cases, which you can take anywhere. Everything is really nice arranged within here. So what you have here is the color meter itself. Then you have the bottoms, one in white, one in black. Lightels recommends to use the white one for whole beans and the black one for ground beans. You will see you have a little case in here and um, on one side it's deeper, that's the side for the ground, for the whole beans and one side is a bit less steep, that's the side for the ground coffee. Then you have a spoon, which helps you to prepare the sample. You will have a ruler, that's pretty important. You will see it then later when we are going to prepare the samples. You have a little plate, and you have to keep this one. This is for calibrating the device, it hardly needs any calibration, but from time to time you're going to do it. It's super simple, super quick, but you just need this little plate for that. It also has a key to lock your case, and it has a charger, a two-pin charger, which you can plug anywhere. In addition to that, also a cable, which is on one hand for charging, on the other hand then for connecting your device to the computer, if you're going to use the software that I mentioned before. That's all, and now I'm going to show you how to measure the color with this device. You have here the button to start your machine. When you start it, when it has been off and you turn it on, it takes about one minute to warm up. Once it's warm up, all the measurings will be very quick. 
but just the first time you're warming it up in a session, it takes about one minute. Now it is ready to go and you're here in the main menu. You can see this with this little house. Here you see the time, you see the battery status, and then you have actually four menu points. The first one, the most important one, is measure. You can see here you have an enter button, you have some flashes to go up and down. If you press enter on measure, you can choose either to measure the whole bean or the grounds. When you press on whole bean, then it's measuring. Well, actually, now there is nothing inside, so <laughs> it shows in Italian uh, roast. Hopefully, Italian roasts are not that dark, but never mind. If you want to go back from somewhere, you can press either escape to get one step back, or you can also always press here the middle button with the little house, then you get back to the main menu. When you click here on history, you see all the previous, like this uh, measurement here, but you can see also the previous measurements you've done. You see the date, like 6th of September 23 at 2 o'clock and 33 minutes. You can see it was ground coffee to a scale of 82.5. It was a cinnamon uh, color. So here you can go back to the main menu. You can go on calibration. You hardly ever need to calibrate the unit, but if it's needed to do, then you take this little gray plate. You can see here is a number. You turn it the other way. Uh, so that you can put the machine on it. Then you choose enter for the calibration. Is the gray card ready? Yes, it is. And after a couple of seconds, it's calibrated. Here you have a setup possibility. And what you can do here is you can set date and time. You can set a name style. So in fact, I mean, the most important, if you have a device like this, is you want to get numbers. So you want to get the Actron or Gourmet scale numbers. But in addition to that, um, there are also names of the ro roast color. And there you have two name styles. You can use a common name style or the official SCAA style. Then you have the possibility to define um, how long it takes for the device to turn it off itself. You can disable the auto off mode. You can say after five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. And then here you can set, reset the whole device to factory settings. That's all. So as I said, the machine is super simple. It has very clear functions, which is measuring the color of ground and whole beans. And that's what the machine can do. So now the most important thing for you is to be very consistent and precise when preparing the samples. First of all, we're going to prepare a sample of whole beans. So what you are going to do, you take this little um, cup here and you see there is a flatter side and a deeper side. For the whole beans, you take deeper side Fill it with beans and now you take this ruler and you are going to distribute the beans in a way that they are very evenly distributed and no beans are over the top so that all is leveled and even. And what's really important is when you're preparing samples and you have your style of preparing samples that you're consistent so that you can then really compare the samples that you've done. Now it's ready. You put the device on it. You press on measure. You go on whole bin. And now you already see it has a score of 62. It is a medium light roast. And you see the date when we have done the measurement. Also the whole bean here, which shows that we've measured the whole bean. I do another one by turning the device a little bit. 62.1. 
62 again. So we average it to 62. That is actually then the color of your ground beans. Now we are going to do the same with the same coffee, but then for ground beans. So this is something that's super important when you're preparing your samples. How fine or coarse you're going to grind your samples is going to change the values dramatically. So in order to have comparable results, you need to do it always the same. So choose a um, grind size, a grinder setting that is always the same for all the samples. That's super important. I'm going to show you now the difference and that's always the same coffee that uh, the one that we've measured before as a whole bean. Now I'm going to do a sample and here the grind size is similar to a typical coupling. So a little bit coarser than filter coffee. And preparing this sample is even a bit easier than the whole beans because you just distribute the coffees on this cup and probably you've seen I now took the cup which is a bit less deep not to spoil too much coffee for the sample now I'm going to distribute this evenly I see here it's not perfect at that spot so just distribute the coffee evenly on this sample. Now I'm going to put the device on the sample. So now I choose ground as a setting. I start my measurement and I get a value of 84.3, a very light roast. I'm also doing second measurement here. Again, 84.4. And another one like this, 84.3. So we have an average of 84.3 for this sample. I'm going to put this away. And now just to show you how much of a difference it's going to make, I'm going to prepare the same coffee in a much finer grind setting in a typical espresso setting. Same preparation as before. Distribute it so that everything is in the cup. I'm putting the light tells on top again, look that everything is closed. I'm taking ground as a setting, I'm going to measure, it says 96.8, extremely light. So you see it's dramatically lighter in the readings than the cursor coffee before. 96.8 again. 96.8. This is just for you to understand. The machine is super simple to use, but what's really crucial and where you have to be very careful is right, the preparation of your samples. That's it. If you want to know more information, like for example, the price of the device, or if you want to order one, then click here to get to our website where you find everything about the Lightels CM100+. If you have any additional questions, then always come back to me. I'm Ingo from Rose Travels and I look forward to hearing from you.